all you magic sword lovers out there. I hope you guys are excited because it's time for for another great and amazing episode of the world's greatest anime series, Master Designs. Uh, today's theme is about magic swords from the from the Cartoon Network series that we like to call the greatest. Let's just say that this series stars Vember and Prohias Warrior, which is also their name. And they specialize in special weapons that they call Mighty Magiswords, which is the name of the title. Which I know what you're thinking. What are what are Magiswords? Well, from from what I've heard, Magiswords are great weapons that only can be that can only be wielded by true warriors. Such as Vampus and such as Vampir and Prohias. But those two aren't the only ones who've been using magic swords. Some of them have some of the Some of the villains have used the magic swords for a force of evil. Like Hoppus and King Rexdefer. Those Some of them even want to use the magic swords to take over the entire world. And even use them to destroy entire and probably use them to destroy entire worlds, even their own. But let's hear from Alexa. Let's see what she knows about magic swords. Alexa, what are magic swords? Sorry, I'm not sure. Hold on. Alexa, what is a magic sword? Here's something I found from the article Mighty Magiswords on Wikipedia. A Magisword is a sword that contains a specific magical ability based on its design. Did that answer your question? Yes. Thanks for your feedback. Alexa, what else can you tell us about Mighty Magiswords? Here's something I found on the web. According to Bomax.com, Mighty Magiswords is about a brother and sister team of warriors for hire. Alexa, what are Magiswords? This might answer your question. According to fandom, according to MightyMagiswords.fandom.com, a Magisword is a magical sword that contains one or more powers based on its specific design. There are many Magiswords scattered throughout the land of Leaf Sharia, which Vamber and Proyas often collect, usually by using Magiswords they have previously obtained. Magiswords can also be bought at a store in Mount Mall called Ralphio's House of Swords. Some Magiswords are also living entities, such as Dolphin Magisword and Zombie Pumpkin Magisword, which is usually advantageous to the wielder, though some Magiswords of this nature can be evil, such as Carnivorous Plant Magisword. There have been 232 magic swords shown so far, and many of them are quite effective in terms of powers, if a little ridiculous. They can also be used to perform a super teamwork combo when two or more different magic swords are used simultaneously. Thank you. Th you. Thank you, Alexa. Thank you. Anyways. Now that we have all the information on the magic swords, I think it's time we give it a spin and show you guys how to draw a bunch of of the greatest magic swords Vember and Prohias have ever used. Starting with Prohias's favorite mag start starting with Prohias's favorite one and the bet and one of the best Dolphin Magic Sword, reunited with the Magic Sword. Oh wait, I should probably save that song for when I really complete the, this drawing thing. When I completely finish this design. Soon! Th okay. So when drawing Dolphin Magisword, you need to draw up his beak. And then the rest of his body. Okay, there's his, there's his head. Now the next thing you gotta do is that you possibly need to draw this line here. You need to draw this part here. And up you go. There's his dorsal fin. 
Sir Dolphin Magisword is not capable of using English or human speech, but but Prohias has the ability to interact with Dolphin Magisword because he has a special feeling for him. Well, basically, Dolphin Magisword has been through a lot of episodes and often thinks of Prohias as her best friend. Even though in a few episodes she got kidnapped one time against Phil the Thief, another time was at, um, was at a comic convention for dolphins. We don't talk about that one. Sorry about that. Forgot to show my face. Anyways, um, one of the moves that Dolphin Magisword knows is Dolphin Water which he uses to uh, spray away his enemies, such as Phil the Thief. Even when Phil loses, he wins! <laughs> yeah, right. Everyone knows the bad guys are supposed to lose. They only win if they turn to the winning side. <laughs> right, buddy? Okay, so here's his signature move. Here's his signature. There we go. There we go. There you go, Prohias. Your very own your very your very own dolphin magisword drawing. This is for you. <clears throat> Reunited with the magisword. Oh yeah. Okay. Now that that's out of the way. Now that we drew, uh, now that we drew uh, Prohias's favorite magic sword and the best one of all time, it's time to draw Vember's first ever magic sword, the tomato, the, as in tomato magic sword. Now let me just find it. Uh, where is that magic sword supposed to be? Let me check in the book. Mm, let's see. Tomato, tomato. Where are you, tomato? It's not here. Maybe if I check the front page? Hmm. Sleeping dragon, spider web. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Tomato. There we go. Now let's draw this boy, shall we? There we go. Now to draw now to draw the tomato magic sword, you need to draw his plant-based body. There we go. And it's time for the There's his body here. Now we just draw this part here. And um, what we know about the Tomato Magisword is basically that the Tomato Magisword is capable of shooting tomatoes at its enemies. And it's basically, well, Okay, it's only useful in salads, or basically in ketchup. I know it sounds a bit odd when you use this, but... Don't tell Vammer I said this, but... Th that should have been my magic sword. <laughs> I know, she would have thrown a tomato at me if I stole it. Sure, it sounds dumb, but... I think a tomato magic sword might be useful to have around the house, especially in the movie theater, a case of bad acting. I'm talking to you, Babylon! Okay, now to draw the rest of the plant. There we go. And done! That's how you draw the tomato magic sword. Let's see it. Tomato Magic Sword. There we go. That's the tomato. Now the 
show you guys the next magic sword. Let's see, where did I put it? Ha! Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, here's the accordion magic sword. The One of Pro Hyas's favorites, which we will do right after I draw the Red Rocket Magic Sword. Oh yeah, you know this one. It's based on an actual rocket. <laughs> okay, so basically when you draw the Red Rocket, you must start with the... You must start with the round spots on the top, as in the antenna. Then you just draw all the way down to draw the bottom half. And, well, basically you just scroll down the, you just scroll down all the way here to form the nose cone. And, well, next up you just draw the, draw the lines here. Here we go, here we go. And done. And there's the top half. Now we just draw the round spots here to form the windows. There we go. Now we just draw the third window here. Hey, doesn't this magic sword look like the Rocket Prize Master? You know, the one from Pokemon Journeys. The same one Team Rocket uses to catch Pikachu and Go's Pokemon as well, but they often fail. Come on, guys. It's the one that they use temporarily. Oh, I wonder if they use a Rocket Prize Master in the new Pokemon Expansion Pass, which explains all the rental Pokemon that I have to use instead of my normal Pokemon. Ridiculous, am I right? Why can't I just use my regular Pokemon? <sighs> if I can just hack the system, I mean, if I could just hack my own Nintendo Switch, I'd be able to get a... I should be able to use my signature Pokemon at will. Anytime I want, if I'm going to be able to catch all the legendary Pokemon. But hacking seems wrong. I'm going to stick with the Pokemon that I have in my disposal. Oh, and people at home, don't ever try to hack your own game console. It'll possibly break down and possibly Im you might lose all your data if you're not careful. Or better yet, better not hack it at all. Now here's his, here's the other antenna here. There we go. There's the rad rockets. Other wing here. There's the line. There we go. <clears throat> and done. Hold on. Let me just draw the line here. R A D. Rocket Match Sword. Done. Now that's done, it's time to draw the accordion. Like I promised, Prohias. <laughs> A man always keeps his word. Even to another friend of yours. Okay, so when drawing the accordion magic sword. You must start with, well, let's, well, first, you gotta start with the keyboard down here, which is known as the piano. That, as we all remember by now, the piano part is part of the accordion, which is the, one of the main bases that allows the uh, person that, uh, or controller to play the accordion at will. 
but well, this is my first time explaining what a, what an accordion is. But maybe I should let Alexa explain. Alexa, what is an accordion? According to Wikipedia, accordions are a family of box-shaped musical instruments of the bellows-driven free reed aerophone type, colloquially referred to as a squeeze box. A person who plays the accordion is called an accordionist. The concertina and bandoneon are related. The harmonium and American reed organ are in the same family, but are typically larger than an accordion and sit on a surface or the floor. Thanks for telling me that, Alexa. I love you. That's really sweet. <sighs> okay, so next up, you just gotta draw this mark over here. There we go. And, well, next thing you gotta do, you just gotta draw this mark here and this mark over here. And now we just draw up. There's his accordion parked. There's the button here. I mean, another square. Now for the, um, hold on, let me start over. Now for the rubber part. This this here is the rubber part of the accordion magisword. That's what allows Prohias to play music. You remember Purple Pete? Well, that show is... Well, that guy was awesome. I mean, that perfect show. And... Oh, shoot. What good is a little... What good is drawing magic swords without a little music? Alexa, play it again! I'll repeat the song. There we go. Swords. Mighty magic swords. There we go. Now we just draw this mark up here, the square. Alexa, play it again. I'll repeat the song. Now, uh, and for the accordion magic sword, you must draw a few dots here on the on the accordion itself. You must draw six on each line. Man, my foot itches. Swords, mighty magic swords. You must draw three for each line here. Three out of six. And done! That's how you draw the accordion. Alexa, play it again. Alexa, play it again. There we go. I'll repeat the song. There we go. We got four back. We got four magic swords done so far. Swords. Mighty magic swords. I hope you guys are I hope you guys are happy of what you drawn. Alexa play again. I'll repeat the song. I'm glad you guys got this far. Cause, Cause coming soon, we're gonna be drawing all the magic swords from the from the entire magic sword magic universe. This as we all know, as we all remember, this video is dedicated to Bamber and Prohias Warrior, along with all the other magic sword users in the world. I I appreciate your work valiantly. I I enjoyed your mini clips in 2015 while I waited for the next Mixel special to come out. And, well, basically, I've been w wanting to see what kind of Magisword you guys will uncover next. Maybe I'll draw a legendary Magisword. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's how you draw four of the greatest Magiswords ever discovered. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and rock and subscribe. Woo! And I'll let you guys know what kind of awesome characters I'll put up on my Mewtwo site. I mean, YouTube. 
Sorry about that. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. 